Assalamu alaikum and hi. Uh, so before we go into these exercises, I just want to congratulate on everyone who managed to send their work. Um, I have watched going through some of your work, actually almost all of your work, and it seems that you did really good. Uh, good job. It's just that if you are using music, to accompany your speech, you should make the music a bit slower so that I can listen to you more. And if possible, if you have any um, wireless headset or any things that have microphone, I think you should use that so that I can listen to you better and I can give some pointers to you to help you with the next task maybe. And another thing, Again, good job. Uh, you did quite good. So moving on to this task. So through the reading part, I hope that most of the things that you see here in number one, you should do it. As a 17 years old student, you should be able to do almost all. Um, if you don't know how to cook meals, you can learn, especially when you are at home right now okay so going through the article you need to read the rest of the article uh, there are five blanks there are five blanks and then you can choose it from here you can choose it from here and then at the end of it you need to give the best title of it so to answer these questions, my suggestion is for you to read the sentence before and after. If it's something in the middle, if the blank is in the middle. Um, if the blank is at the end, like number five, it is something to tie the paragraph, meaning the conclusion of that particular paragraph. So let's look at number one first. However, those days are long gone, but despite, okay, that's the sentence before, and then the sentence after, but despite this change, many teenagers believe that their parents, and more particularly their mothers, are the only ones who should pick up, tidy, wash, clean, and clear. Okay, basically, this is not a good thing, because women in the past do all the works. Nowadays, we have a lot of equality where women also go to work, men go to work. I think we should divide our work together, meaning the chores at home together. So the answer for this one is D. Right. Nowadays, women have jobs and successful careers, leaving them little to deal with the large number of tasks that a household requires. So what is a household? Household is the house as well as everyone who lives in it. Okay, household is a house as well as everyone who lives in it. Okay, let's go through for number two. Number two again is in the middle, so read sentence before that. The sentence before that, even so to get teenagers should be careful not to make extra work for others. And then the sentence after that, the truth is that no one is too busy to do this simple chores. So that's the highlight ideas of this paragraph. So the answer here is A. What this means is that they should keep their room tidy, leave bathrooms clean, pick up after themselves, and wash their dishes once in a while. So this is a simple work that you, especially you, I'm talking to you guys, you need to do it at home. All right, let's go, let's move on to number three. Um, sit uh, still well, went on strike there and then and stayed on strike for six days. And in the sentence afterward, incredibly, they didn't even notice what was happening until day three of the strike. Okay, so for number three, the answer is F. 
she didn't actually tell her children she just stopped doing the chores but from this thing incredibly until the strike day three it shows that they didn't even realize what is happening that shows how they didn't care about what is happening in the household so you shouldn't be something like that we should be able to see what is happening around us react to it because we are living in a community we should do things together number four um then dishes had piled in the sink dirty plates blah 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 bathroom floor and then sentence after that it wasn't until day five the girls started to clean up the house and blaming one another for the mess all right this is not good okay so the answer is c c is her daughter complained about the disgusting house but it's apparently had not offended them enough to clean it remember cleaning houses is a collective responsibilities where everyone in the household meaning every person in the house should do it together not uh, choosing one person to do one particular job we should help each other especially help your mom help your help your dad to do these kind of things okay so for the last one number five the answer is e is a conclusion for this paragraph interestingly these are the main reason parents give for not pressing their children to have at home they're talking about what is happening so that's why they didn't do it they didn't press their children they just do it themselves so remember as a children do once in a while help your parents i know some of you did that but to whomever who didn't do it just do it all right let's look at number five complete the sentences with the correct form of the this expression this expression is not straightforward it might seems like straightforward but it gives different meanings so for the first one jenny shares a flat with two other university students and they all to keep the place clean and tidy do their fair of shares so do their fair fair shares it means that they do things together meaning they do their part to clean so everyone do have the same amount of tasks to do all right number two james not at home right now he's for his dad but he'll be back running errands okay what is running errands running errands is doing job so now jim is doing jobs for his dad number three of asking you to clean your room so there's no pocket money for you this week i am sick and tired Okay, the word B here is M, is, are, was, and were. It's verb to be. Because this is I, so that's why we use M. Sick and tired. It means like, aku dah menyampah sangat dah ni. Alright. And then number four. You look exhaust, exhausted. Terry, why don't you? And I'll bring you a nice cup of tea. Terry is exhausted, so this person want to help Terry by uh, by bringing a nice cup of tea so that Terry can relax. So relax here. The answer is put your feet up. Right, number five. I've got a lot to do today, and it would be a big help if you could. Okay, so this person want the other person to help. So the answer is lend a hand. Lend a hand is the same meaning as helping. While I cook a three cost dinner, my husband watch TV and okay. So that's the last one is not not it's not suitable here. So the suitable for my husband and it's in the past, it become didn't. didn't live a 
finger. So here for the expression, they change the the little words like again B should be M, not here should be did not. All right, moving on to the next part. So the wrong the bold words are wrongly placed. So you need to read everything up so that you can change it. You can change it to the real part. Sorry, sorry for my big hands. All right, Molly spent a lot of time with her extended family. She and her parents see her grandparents and other. Okay, it shows about family. So family should be relative. Right, your stranger are usually people who are the same. Dengar je your stranger pun dah tahu dah salah. So it's talking about the same age, same social group. As you, so it should be your friend, so your peers. Everyone love Uncle Joe. He hasn't got. Now, what's the answer here? Everyone love. Everyone love. So it should be. He don't have any enemy. Our biological teacher is taking my. Click is not for school friend. It should be my classmate. When you work in a small office, it is important that you get along with your classmate. Working in an office, classmate is for school. So the answer here is click. Again, sorry. So the answer is click. My Mr. Taylor is my father business partner. You should tell your children to avoid talking to. Okay, who should you avoid talking to? It should be a stranger. Miss Cooper is our basketball. She's teaching, so is a coach. When you are teaching a sport, it should be a coach. When you are teaching in class, it should be a teacher. Okay, let's sit down and discuss. Why do we have to argue? This is positive. This is something negative. If you want a better relationship with your child, I, okay, this person want to give something good, advice you not to criticize this is what happened to you guys right i know a lot of you has had a lot of this kind of thing okay. my father likes to grumble okay try to search what grumble means about the weather and then write in the comment i want to see Comments talking about what crumble is. What is another word that can replace crumble? Whereas my mother loves to gossip. Okay. Don't do this. This is not good. Okay. That often. Grandma not being straight. So this is something negative here actually. So it should be accuses. He says that she praises me. Okay, that's what grandmothers, grandfathers do. They love to praise their granddaughter and grandchildren, grandson. All right, last one. I think you should be able to write it. I don't want to write it for you. I'm just going to give you the answer. Number one is frustrated. I want you guys to comment down below, write it properly, and I want to see. Uh, I don't want any spelling mistake here. Okay. Now she fe she feels ashamed. If you want to get along in this company, number three, you must be respectful towards everyone you work with. 
All right, number four, the answer is cheerful. Number five, the answer is calm. Number six is guilty. Number seven, miserable. Last one, proud. I want everyone to write the answers in the comment section below and remember to like this video so that I can see that you have watched this video and I think this is important actually this exercises is important to help you with your vocabulary all right thank you very much guys see you next time